Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I contour using just powdered products. And I'm also going to show you how I highlight. Right now, I have my eye makeup done, my brows, my foundation, and the concealer. So pretty much the base, all I need to do is add the powder and um, do the contour and I'm done. So if you have oily to combination skin like me, I learned a trick through another YouTube video that if you get a piece of tissue and you tear it apart, which I already did, you can use it as kind of like a blotting paper and that's good so um, it just sucks up any extra oils or it prevents any extra oily situations in the future. So you just want to tap it really lightly, especially on areas that you tend to get oily. So I think a lot of people get oily at the T-zone. I have a really bad problem with my oil so I actually have to use a oil-free moisturizer a matte foundation and I like to blot my face so contouring is pretty popular the main purpose of it is really to make the face look very slimming and to really make the cheekbones stand out and the whole like forehead it's kind of like an optical illusion using makeup because the darker shade acts as a shadow and the lighter color just helps brings it out so that's why people like to um, put the shadow right below the cheekbones so it looks like their cheekbones are really high and then some people like to put it right here in the forehead so it like slims down i think it's very convenient if you have a contour kit my favorite contour kit is the kat von d shade and light palette it honestly has everything ready for you the only thing is it doesn't have the sparkly highlight in this kit which some kits do have but this shade and light palette just has the bronzer colors and the lighter colors so if you don't have a contour kit you can always just buy your product separately to go in and deepen up the bronzer i would say buy a dark skin tone foundation and just use it to go in um and deepen up some areas so you definitely will need a bronzer and that's good for an over effect overall effect of just um setting the base for the contour my favorite is the makeup revolution ultra bronze and it has pretty good reviews on ulta's website so i decided to try it out and i fell in love with it it's like a matte light color and it kind of shows up it kind of doesn't it all depends on the person and how much you put on but I like it because it's matte and it doesn't really have a cool or warm undertone it's kind of just like in between or even if you get a warm bronzer for the summer that's really pretty and this is from Rimmel London it has like a little more shimmer than the makeup revolution one I like to stay away from the shimmer shades when I'm bronzing up unless it's like a really summer um sparkly makeup look this is the Milani bronzer I've used this in my other makeup videos but it's super shimmery and gold so this is nice to also bronze up the whole face so after you um get the whole face ready i like to just bake before i contour and this just helps me prepare the face on where i need to contour so i just use a makeup puff and i just put some product right under here and i like to drag it down i like to put some right here because when you do contour the nose i feel like it gives it a slimming effect i like to put some here and some people do this not everyone does this but they put it right here. I mean, your contour goes right here. Like right at the cheekbone or right below the cheekbone. So this kind of just cleans it up. And it doesn't make you look a little sloppy. And honestly, I put translucent powder all over my face when I'm done contouring anyways. So um, this just kind of is like a step that... I like to do and I get really oily right on my forehead so I like to dab a little bit not too much because I don't like to mess up my brows 
to warm up the face, I like to use a really fluffy brush. This here is a Morphe fan brush. And this is just a, um, I think a Laura Geller fluffy brush. You can honestly get any brand as long as it's fluffy and soft. This just is for the um, bronzer to just, like I said, warm it up. So for this step, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution bronzer. Just going to take some here and then just dust it around. And you can honestly just be messy with this stuff because the whole point of it is just to get the bronzer all over your face. And I like to drag down my bronzer onto my neck because it makes it look a little skinnier <laughs> and kind of just blends everything in. And you can just deepen up more by putting more product. Okay, that is just with this overall bronzer. You can see how much of a difference it makes. So using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I am going to deepen up the bronzer a little more so for this step i like to use a more densely packed brush and i'm going to use this one this is by real techniques i think it's their contour brush so i'm going to take the middle shade and the darkest shade i'm going to go very lightly and i'm just gonna apply right here and blend it into the hairline. And if it's a little too intense, you can always just blend it out with that first brush you use to bronze up the face. And you don't wanna drag it too much, like over here. I like to usually just stop like right here where the arc of my brow is. And the areas that I think um, a lot of people like to contour is right here at their chin. You can see how much of a difference it makes from the other side. So I'm going to do the same step. I'm gonna put it right here. So you really wanna make sure that you blend it in so it doesn't look blotchy and really fake. And I really like to contour heavily, so I like to put it right here. Most people won't, but I like to because I feel like it slums down the face and even more. So I'm just going to dust off the translucent powder and finish up the other part of my face. So to contour the nose, I like to use a very slender type of brush. This is from the Lorac Pro palette and you can see it's pretty dense but it's soft and fluffy enough so you could blend it out. So just look for a brush like that. And the bronzer I'm gonna use for my nose contour is the one I put all over my face. I just like to take a little bit of that and just dust it right down here. And I like to put some right under here so it just shortens the nose. So the more together your contour is on your nose, the slimmer your face will look. So I'm just going to put some more. And some people like to put it right across the bridge of your nose. And apparently it like, lets this, the bulb of your nose like stand out.
I'm also going to put some of this right under the lip. This just makes your lip look a little bigger. So when I put blush on my face, I like to kind of just put it right on top of the contour, but not too much. So I just like to use a fluffy brush. I'm going to take some blush here and just apply it starting right on the actual cheek and just drag it a little bit up. And it's okay if it goes right directly on top of the bronzer. Okay, and now to highlight the face, I'm going to use a Sephora eyeshadow in the shade Blonde Ambition. So I feel like if you get a shimmery color, it honestly applies the same way as a highlight and it's really cheap compared to an actual highlighter. And I don't use much highlight anyways since I think it kind of goes a long way. So I think um, this is a perfect size. So I'm going to use a fan brush take some of that product and I like to put it right on my actual cheekbone right here you don't want to go up here you want to go right here so it kind of gives you an illusion like your cheek like you have higher cheekbones so like I said just put it right there And some people also like to put it right here. This kind of gives you kind of like a forehead lift. I don't like to put too much because I do get oily. So I just lightly put some there. I'm going to put some right here. And I'm also going to put some on the bridge of my nose. And at the bulb of the nose, I'm just going to apply with my finger. I'm going to apply a little more. And some people like to put it at the cupid's bow. I don't really know what it really does. I just put it there. I'm just going to put on some lipstick and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I completed the whole contour and highlight um, procedure. <laughs> Please let me know if this video was helpful to you guys. It's extremely easy to do and I hope you guys learn something from it. I'll list all the products I use down below and I'm going to see if I can compare it before and after of how much contouring makes a difference. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!